this is not working. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go over the theory just a little bit more with this problem. Um, it's, it wants us to use the remainder theorem that we just talked about and uh, evaluate this particular function at x equals 2. So 2 is the k that we're using. And so we're trying to find f of 2, and it's equal to a linear factor x minus 2 times some quotient. We don't know what that quotient is. We could figure that out by the division plus the remainder. And then what we're interested in is what is that remainder. Okay, so we're going to use synthetic division because we're going to take this polynomial and divide it by x minus 2. Okay, so if you want to see that written, it might make a little more sense what we're doing. We're taking this polynomial and we're dividing it by x minus 2. And what we're really interested in is the remainder. Okay, so we're going to use synthetic division. Put 2 in the box. We'll pull off those coefficients. It looks like they're all there. 6 minus 1 minus 15 plus 2 minus 7. I should have five numbers there because it's a degree 4. So instead, if the polynomial is degree 4, You've got to have one more number because of the constant. Okay, now we're going to divide synthetically. Bring down the 6. 6 times 2 is 12. Negative 1 and 12 is 11. 2 times 11 is 22. Negative 15 and 22 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. I don't know why I have that addition sign there, but anyway, it's not hurting anything. 16. 16 times 2 is 32. And then negative 7 and 32 is what, 25? Okay, then that means f of 2 is equal to 25. If you evaluated the function at 2, you would get 25. And that's one of the beauties of synthetic division is being able to use the remainder theorem.